In this video, I'm going to share eight of my favorite marketing tools to help improve conversion rates, write better copy, whether it's for ads, landing pages, or whatever else you need to write copy for, improve your creative workflow, and much, much more. And we're starting with a tool that helps you improve your landing page and sales page conversion rates. It's called Microsoft Clarity. It's actually completely free for life. And what it allows you to do, if we click see live demo here, you can record sessions from your users, meaning you can see which parts of the page your users are focusing on, you can see which parts they're skipping over, and you can see if they're doing things like looking for something in particular, if they're, let's say, scrolling up and down the page. So it's a really good way to figure out what you need to focus on when it comes to optimizing that page. The second thing you can do is look at heat maps. So you can set up and create heat maps to see which parts of the page people are spending the most time on and where they're focusing most of their attention. Again, it's a great way to help you figure out what you need to fix on the page to get your conversion rates up. As I said, free for life, and all you need to do is basically install one piece of code on your page to get this set up and running, so it's really easy to do as well. Next up, we've got another completely free tool, and this one works hand in hand with Microsoft Clarity. It's called Google Optimize, and what it allows you to do is set up an A-B test or a split test between any page you like. So once you use Microsoft Clarity, for example, to figure out what you need to focus on improving, you can then go and make those changes in a new page and split test the original and the new page, and Google Optimize pairs with Google Analytics to show you which page converts better. Once you have the results, you can implement that page live on your website and start your next test. In addition to A-B tests, which is where you can have two different versions of a page on one URL, and Google Optimize will automatically split the traffic 50-50 between each page, you can also do some really cool things like personalization. What that allows you to do is personalize a page, meaning show specific content on a landing page or a sales page based on where a user came from. So a good use case for this would be a Facebook ad. Let's say you're testing different Facebook ads with different headlines. Well, you can use Google Optimize to set it up so that people see a different headline on the landing page depending on which ad they clicked. So the landing page always has a headline that matches the Facebook ad that a person clicks. And that is actually a great way to improve your conversion rates from your Facebook ad traffic as well. And that's just one example of how you can use this personalization tool. Now, if you want to improve your headlines, whether it's for Facebook ads, Instagram ads, landing pages, or anywhere else. Really good tool for that is the CoSchedule Headline Analyzer. It's a completely free tool. You do need to sign up with an email address to get access to it. But once you do, basically all you do is you can come in, enter a headline. So I might enter how to write Facebook ads and analyze that one. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me a score for a start. You can see I didn't get a very good score here, 54. And it's going to give me suggestions on how to improve that. So you can see if I scroll down, uh, it says decrease the number of common words. Uh, it's saying increase the number of emotional words, add some power words. So let's say I changed it to something like this. Reanalyze that one using the suggestions they suggested. And then now you can see I've got a score of 89. It's a much better headline. And there is a pro version of this as well, though the free version is pretty good, but the pro version will give you more suggestions and things like that as well. So that's the co-schedule headline analyzer tool. Now, one thing I like to do, particularly because I work with clients or I'm often showing students, you know, different examples and demonstrating things, is show people what a headline or copy or changes would look like in real time on a website. There's actually a Chrome extension you can use to do that without actually having to go into the back end and modify a page. It's called Page Editor and you can get it in the Chrome Web Store. Basically, once you install this in Chrome, you can go to any landing page you like, click on the extension, and that allows you to edit the page. Now, you're not actually editing the page, only you can see these changes. But what I will often do is, let's say, you know, we can uh, pop that in there to see what that would look like. We can make changes to any section, uh, even buttons and pop-ups and things like that. Make the changes that you're proposing, see how it looks, work on different things like headlines and subheadlines to make sure it all fits, make sure it looks great. Then you can do things like take screenshots and send them to team members and ask them to make the updates. Uh, you can send it to students or to clients to show them what that would look like. Just a really handy little Chrome extension that I quite often find myself using to see how things will look before I have to waste time going into the back end and making those changes. So that's the page editor Chrome extension. Now the next tool has saved me countless hours when it comes to creating 
graphics or images for ads or for landing pages or any of my marketing collateral. It's called Remove BG. And if you've ever worked in Photoshop to try and remove the background from images using the lasso tool or whatever tools you use to do that, you'll know it's a really time consuming, painful task. With Remove BG, it can do all of that for you in a matter of seconds, saves a ton of time. So basically you go to remove.bg, you can drag in any image that you want. It will automatically remove the background from the image so you've just got the person remaining. You can then download it for free if you want, or if you want the HD version, there's really cheap paid plans for this. Um, I use it because I think it's like a dollar an image or something to get the HD version. You can see here, I've just removed the background on an image. Um, looks great. It's also got this editing tool. So if it doesn't quite get things right, you can actually go in and add or remove different pieces if you need to, but it actually does a really good job without any intervention needed. Then you click download, save it to your computer, and you can re-download that as many times as you want as well. They're not going to charge you every time you download the image. Really good time-saving tool, remove.bg. Next up, we've got another really good one to help improve your creative workflow. Before we do that, if you're not on my newsletter already, make sure you click the link in the description to sign up for that. You'll get an email every week to help you become a better Facebook advertiser, digital marketer, and business owner. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Now onto this next tool, which is called ReCut. Basically what this tool does is you can take a video, put drop it into the tool and it's going to automatically cut out all of the pauses and breaks within the video and stitch it all together for you. So it saves a ton of that mundane editing time when you're going through and just cutting out all the little pauses and gaps in a video and lets you skip straight to focusing on the main editing work. Now that sounds simple, but if you've ever edited a video, you'll know just how helpful a tool like this really is. It saves you a mountain of time. Now it is a paid tool. It's got a free trial there. You can trial it and test it out. And I think it's about $99 per year for the full version. So it's pretty cost effective if video editing is something you're doing on a regular basis. Moving over to copywriting now, particularly longer form copywriting, like in the body of your ads or on your landing or sales pages. One of my favorite tools, and again, this is a free one, is called Hemingway app. Now Hemingway helps you write clearer. It helps you write in a way that's easier for your readers to understand because apparently the average reading level in the US and probably in Australia as well is about grade six. So you want to aim for a reading level that most people can understand. And Hemingway app will actually read your copy, grade it and tell you what reading level it's at. And it will also give you suggestions to improve the overall readability. You can see here, it's got a few suggestions already in the sample text. It tells you that one sentence is hard to read. It's telling us that one sentence is very hard to read, uh, that there are simpler alternatives we can use and things like that. So basically you just open the app, paste in whatever copy you are working on. That's my headline from before. Or I can even paste in, let's say some email copy and it's going to give me suggestions on how I can make it easy to read. Really helpful tool to help, again, improve your conversion rates by allowing you to write better copy. Next up, this one's pretty interesting and there's a lot of buzz around it at the moment and I can see why. It's called CARD or C-A-R-R-D dot C-O. And it allows you to create really nice looking, simple one page websites, in other words, landing pages, completely for free and really, really quickly. So if you need to spin up a page quickly, whether it's a landing page or a page for a wait list, or basically any page you can think of, you can come to CARD, do it in a matter of minutes and have something that works really well and that looks fantastic. So you can see if we come into CARD, we click on new site, they've got a bunch of templates that you can use as a starting point, which is always really helpful. It's much better than starting from scratch and trying to figure out how to build a page yourself. So you choose a template that works best for what you're trying to create, click on it, customize it and away you go. Now they do have a paid plan. If you want to collect leads and do things like that, I think it's about $19 per year. So it's very, very cost effective for card. It's a great tool if you're creating landing pages and you don't want to use one of these more expensive services that are $99 plus per month, then card is a fantastic alternative. And if you are creating landing pages, you wanna make sure that you're following all of the best practices to make sure that they're going to convert as well as possible. So you can use the tools that I just mentioned, but what you should also do is watch this video next where I show you how to create a high converting landing page and all of the important elements that you need to make sure you include to do that. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.